morning boys and girls and so glad that you'll be joining us today in our kids church online we are in the last series of our series the brave in this series we have learned about the men and women in the bible that learn how to be strong brave and courageous because of god so before i go on to our lesson um i want to show you a picture and i want you to tell me what do you see in the picture you are absolutely right. It is a lion. How many of you have been to the zoo? So if you have been to the zoo, you probably have seen the lion, right? So we know that lion is a strong and big animal, right? And it can be dangerous, or it is dangerous actually, to go near it. Um, so I want you to imagine yourself. Can you imagine like, yourself being thrown into a den or a cage with a lion just thinking about it it scares me right it is scary well in today's lesson we are going to talk about Daniel and I know most of you know that story um, Daniel is one of the great you know, man in the Bible that shows courage, even though he is facing a deadly lion. So if you have your Bible, I want you to open the Bible in the book of Daniel, and it's in chapter six. So in the story, um, there was a newly appointed king and his name is King Darius. So Daniel is actually his chief leader. Daniel was a good man. He loved God so much. And King Darius has other helpers, but these helpers didn't like Daniel. In fact, they were jealous about him. So they come up with an evil or a really, really bad plan to put Daniel in trouble, or even worse, to really hurt him. So they said, Daniel, worship and pray to God. So one day, they decided to go to King Darius and told King Darius, hey, King Darius, you were so awesome. You deserve to be worship. So why don't you make a law so within the next 30 days, they are only going to worship you. And whoever is found worshiping others than you, then they should be thrown into the lion's den. One day, those other helpers caught Daniel in praying and worshiping to God. So when they caught him, they run to King Darius and they told King Darius, King Darius, did you know that Daniel, we saw Daniel worshiping and praising his God. Isn't it a law that he should not be worshiping anyone but you? So when King Darius heard about it, he was so sad because he really liked Daniel. He was so sad and he felt that he got tricked in putting Daniel into the lion's den. So because he made that law, he had to follow through with the law that he made. So Daniel was thrown into the den with lions. So King Darius went to see him and told Daniel, Daniel, I hope your God will save you. So you know what, instead of Daniel being sad or being scared or blaming God for what's going to happen to him, you know what Daniel did when he was in the lion's den? He continued to pray to God. And you know what God did? God sent an angel that night and the angel shot the lion's mouth and that lion were not was not able to hurt Daniel so the next day King Darius went to see Daniel and he was curious 
and he's hoping that Daniel is still alive. So he shouted, Daniel, Daniel, are you still alive? Did your God save you? And guess what? Daniel screamed and shouted and said, yes, I'm still alive. My God saved me. And King Darius was so happy to know that he is still alive. And from that day, King Darius declared that there is no other man to worship, but only the God that Daniel served. Isn't it amazing, boys and girls? So in our Bible story for today, we are going to learn a lot of things in the life of Daniel. One of the things that I really love about it is how Daniel is not ashamed and not scared to show the world how much he loved God. In fact, if you're going to read your Bible, it says there that Daniel prayed to God three times a day. Can you imagine that? He prayed. He talked to God three times a day. How many of you does that? Right? He continually to pray and to worship God no matter what it costs him. Even he knew that by disobeying King Darius' law, he can be in trouble. He can be thrown out in the lion's den. But still he continued because Daniel knew what is right. And the right thing to do is to worship only God. There's no one that serves the worship except God. Man should not be worshipped. <laughs> man does not deserve worship because man is not God. So Daniel did what is right in the sight of God. And because of that, God saved and protected Daniel. You know, because Daniel has faith in God, he was saved. He has faith and confidence that God loves him. And because God loves him, no matter what circumstances that he is into, God will be there to rescue him. God will never leave him or nor forsake him, like what the Bible says. So I hope you learned something today, and I hope to see you soon in person. And for now, have a great day, and bye. See you again next time.